of my life We could even stop the time for one night So we can last forever Welcome back from that break and we have been joined in the studio by our very first guest. She's beautiful and she's a musician. She's from Namibia, yes, and we are glad to have her in our studio today. She goes by the name Basiame Shana Matjela. A lot of you know her as Basiame. She's a young musician and today we are going to have a very good discussion with her. You are welcome to our studios. Right. <laughs> So, uh, Basiame, after studying business management, you decided to do music full-time. Why did you decide that? Uh, during COVID, actually, uh, I had a group of friends. Not a group of friends, somebody I knew that started a record label out in Namibia. And for me, it was a good opportunity to keep like, practicing and stuff, being in the studio like full-time. So, the time I got to practice all the time was the time I was like, oh, I really like this. I should like do it for sure. For sure. I've been really liking it. It's just that time I was like to like leave everything else and focus on the music. And you also sang in the school choir at a point in mm -hmm. time. That could have more or less shifted you to doing gospel What's music. Wow. How come? <laughs> How are you doing uh, another journey? Uh, I mean, I still love my gospel songs, <laughs> right? So like, if I have to, if, if I feel connected to make a gospel song, one of these, I might. Okay. You might do it. Oh, okay. So you're not really boxed to say, oh, I'm just doing this genre. But what genre of music do you really do? And what does it entail? What kind of music? Jazz, R&B, soul. Like, as I practiced, um, like, also being part of a label, they wanted me to really go into the Afro flow. Okay. But I, like, like I say, as I've been practicing, I think what, what, what makes my bones shiver and gives me goosebumps is my jazz music my soul music so that's the genre i'll mainly be focusing on but i could do trap so i have a my piano song i dropped under shana last year but i changed my name so there's that yeah. okay but i want you to i mean i just want you to um we've not been to namibia yeah i mean when it comes to music from that part of africa we'll probably talk about south africa tanzania yeah. Yeah. and a few places you know outside west africa right so just paint a picture of what the Namibian music space is like. What exactly is the, like, the popular genre in, mm -hmm. in that place? You know, tell us about it. I'd say growing up in Namibia, what's really popular was the Vanak music out there. So it'll be a mix of Kwaito, but in our own languages. Okay. Um, there's a genre called Overishe. It's the uh, Herero people's language that they... I don't know how to explain it. It's like... Mm. It's like house when quite though, but they could also make it an R&B song when they want to. But right now, there used to be um, artists that with the, with the main guys, like the OGs. Okay. But I'm really happy to see the young ones building their own narrative and changing the game up. So right now, there's a flow of this Puzadam. They're like quite genre. They're really doing good. I think they're like the biggest in the country. Okay. Um, there's this new guy called Yazer. It's Lioness, she's a rapper. It's me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, the kids are coming out right now, so that's basically what it looks like. So it's, there's space actually for R&B, jazz, the kind of thing that you're doing? In, yeah. In, okay. I would say so. And outside yeah. the box, in terms of um, Afrobeat, how is there acceptability there? Are people really appreciating it? Although you have your own type mm -hmm. of genre, mm -hmm. are they accepting the new wave? That you is know, I'm, I'm a piano and Afro is very close to Namibia uh, because South Africa, we have a lot of like South African tendencies because mm -hmm. we were Southwest Africa before mm -hmm. we got our name. So also in the music, you can hear a lot of um, I'm a piano mm -hmm. vibes. Okay. Also, they're making a lot of my piano and Afro too. Yeah. And the people okay. accept it. Yeah, no, no, they love it. It's, okay. they, that's what, uh, what they play most. They accept that more than the slow songs. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And how, how long have you been in Ghana so far? Like two weeks. Two weeks. So that means you have a fair idea of our music industry. Yeah, I'm getting into it. Um, and I heard the other day that you guys actually started the Afro Beats. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got yeah. the right information, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So... <laughs> yeah, I'm getting into oh, Which it. acts have you like listened to yeah. in relation to the kind of music that you do also? And you're like, okay, this is good. Oh, I love Blacko, Black Sheriff. Because also he has a lot of rock yeah. in his music. And it's not really 
straight afro there's a lot of different sounds he plays with so i've also heard of um king promise and yeah. oh good yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Jackie. Jackie. yeah. Jackie. yeah. yeah. Okay. what about sakodi and stone boy i've heard about them too but mm, i haven't what i haven't heard songs that Gave me goosebumps yet. Oh, okay. I know. I know okay. of them. Yeah, you wow. get it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but then looking at your music industry, Namibian and also Ghanaian music industry, which one would you say is more vibrant? Definitely, I think, well, I want to say Namibia because it's starting. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be part of the yeah. process. So okay. that's the vibrant part to it. Being in Ghana, I can see it's also starting. The young ones, I think, are... Are really starting something new, so I think each country is doing well for themselves. So okay, I was <laughs> asking that because I want to know why you would want to venture into the Ghanaian music market. I don't want to be anywhere and not do something music related. Good. So everywhere I travel, I'll try my best to put my stamp, make somebody know, like, yo, I'm out here. Yeah. What does it look like in you guys' music world? So you didn't but you're come not really here based here, is that right? to promote your music? No, 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 no. I came okay. with some friends of mine. That's like to have fun. With the friends, yeah, but also like mm. I like the, the first time I came, I liked mm. the the scenery. So like yeah. I shot the video that you guys just saw over here as well. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the video Ooh. we just saw was shot here in Ghana. Yeah, shot oh, in wow. Ghana. Where exactly? Uh, what's the <laughs> beach's <laughs> name? Would you remember? It's yeah. one of the beaches on that okay. long. Oh, Labadi. Labadi. Yeah, yeah. yeah. probably Labadi, but it's, a, it's the last one. Oh. It's the last one. There's one that's just like starting new, and then there's in beautiful hotel place starting it's brown yeah i think it's sunbox there's sun another right. one I i've forgotten the name there's another one yeah. there, right? after sunbox yes. there's another one there's okay. another one there yeah. Yeah. that's this name no <laughs> so with that anyway, a lot of a lot of bitches that yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was in that place and then at the at the at the gardens What's the gardens yeah. called? Oh. Botanical, Botanical Gardens. Botanical Gardens. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. oh. Yeah. nice. So with that kind of video and your location where you shot it and with your song, what exactly uh, message, what message are you portraying? What message do you want people to get from that music video and the song itself? When I decided to shoot something for it, I was busy thinking to release the song. So I was like, I have no idea what I want to do. Maybe I should just shoot like some visuals. Because the first um, scene was shot one time and a second another time so i didn't know i'm gonna make it like a whole merge thing together okay. so i just had visuals i wanted to do i wanted to give it an african feel um it's more artsy than f like flowing with the song's message so to say it's just really just giving energy of warmth and the colors yeah Mm -hmm. So what do you really think about uh, what message are you actually portraying to your listeners, people who love you, people who follow you? What are you about? What is your message? Love songs make me, get me to put my heart on the microphone. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, so my love stories are real life stories. Um, I'm, I've been trying to practice how to get deep into like talking about my own life and like messages throughout like things I've experienced. So basically... They're going to just get to know me through my music. That's what I'm about. Okay. I also read, I read um, that you, you grew up with a lot of um, sounds around you um, from your parents. Mm -hmm. And it, like, that's like a major influence of course. Um, on you. How did, that, how did that, that influence you? Okay, so I want to do this kind of music because for, for the kind of music that you make, unless there's some really, really experience or some deep influence before you know, get into some spaces. Tell us of, about it. Of yeah. course, of course. Um, my dad played the keyboard growing up. Um, he'd always have random spasms of just going crazy. I don't even know where he <laughs> learned playing it from. But I don't know that he was a dancer. He didn't tell me how he started doing the keys. Why did I not ask? I'm gonna ask <laughs> You've got to ask him. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta ask him. Um, he had the guitar as well. And my mom as well, she, she always was also just playing music. So from the likes of like Marvin Gaye, the old Motown type of songs, Ooh. like very old school type of music. Um, and then with my sisters, I grew up with four girls. Okay. I grew up also being like influenced by them. So they have a lot of like rock. Okay, the one I really got like attracted to. She has like a lot of rock taste. Mm. Um, so from Ever Levine, Coldplay... Let me go mm. to Britney Spears and like growing up was a movie, so 
everything. So like it was just yeah. a music house. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's that's great. Yeah. And and also right. you've worked with some some top um some top acts. You know, yeah. I, I read about major league DJs yeah, yeah, yeah. and all that. Tell us the experience outside Namibia for you, um, outside even Africa, and trying to push your music across. You know, the other side. Mm -hmm. so. Um. Yeah. I'm very happy to be able to. to have an energy or aura that allows foreign energy to my space because I don't think everybody has the blessing to be able to work with people of this stature. Um, it's very comfortable working with people outside. I think because the music is in me, they can automatically just feel the energy. So we work well. Um, yeah. Okay, but Siama, I mean, we wish to have uh, spend more time with you, but we have to go. All I right. would like to know... Um, Later in the year, in the months to come, are we going to see you doing Afrobeat music? For sure, for sure. I have a lot of Afrobeat songs right. in the vault, so I'm going to get you guys gingered up soon. Okay. Your final yeah. words before we go. I know, thanks for having me, guys. I appreciate it very mm. much. Yeah. Yeah. And follow me, please, on my Instagram and all socials at Basiame. The Great is my Instagram and Twitter. I have to open a Facebook account. <laughs> so it's right. Instagram and yeah. Twitter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much for right. coming. Thanks, guys. Your numbers right. are quite interesting. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. It's coming up. That's a lot. You guys follow me. I follow back. Oh, follow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>